Welcome to Trains 21. In addition to this YouTube channel, you can also find us online at trains21.org and trains21.com. Nothing in the rail fan community triggers debates or strong feelings as to who makes the better locomotive, GE or EMD. The answer isn't always clear, cut and dry, and a lot depends on what factors are taken into consideration. I'm Railfan AC, and you're watching Trains in the 21st Century. In 2018, Norfolk Southern and Progress Rail converted two old standard cab SD70s number 2537 and 2548 to AC traction. The new model designation for these locomotive hybrids is the SD70 ACC and included new wide noses, cabs, electrical cabinets, electrical systems, and of course, new AC traction motor. AC44C6M rebuilding project included conversion to AC traction utilizing GE electrical components, a new electrical cabinet, GEVO style wide nose crew cab with additional ballasted weight increased to 432,000 pounds when fully loaded with supplies. All rebuilt units meet tier 1 plus emission standards and all six axles are powered with GE AC traction motors. Some units are equipped for electronically controlled pneumatic train braking and all units are equipped for use in distributed power unit operation. Other extras are the GE trip optimizer and positive train control system and all rebuilt units have air conditioning. Locomotives number 4000 and 4001 were rebuilt by American Motive Power Incorporated in Dansville, New York under a contract with GE. The 4000 was unveiled on December 15, 2015, painted in a special blue, gray, gold, and black scheme to highlight the rebuilding of the unit from DC to AC traction. Following the initial unveiling, the unit returned to the paint shop for changes to the original paint scheme. On December 28, 2015, both the 4000 and 4001 were unveiled with a modified version of the original special DC to AC paint scheme. The front logo was changed from gold to white with a black horse while the rear logo was changed from blue to white with a black horse. The horse head logos on each side of the engine compartment were changed from blue to black. Unit number 4002 was released on September 1, 2016 painted in a special black, gray, Tuscan red and white scheme to highlight the rebuilding of the unit from DC to AC traction. The Tuscan red main stripe signifies that this unit was rebuilt at the NS Roanoke locomotive shop in Roanoke, Virginia. The second unit in this scheme, number 4003, was released on December 15, 2016, exactly one year after the 4000. Number 4004 was released on August 18, 2016, painted in another special black, gray, and white scheme, this time with a blue main stripe to indicate that the unit was rebuilt at the NS Juniata locomotive shop in Altoona, Pennsylvania. And like the number 4003 that was rebuilt in Roanoke, the second unit in this scheme, number 4005, was released on December 15, 2016, exactly one year after the 4000. <laughs>
The two original SD70DC to AC rebuilds were sent to the Progress Rail Facility in Patterson, Georgia. The 2537 was initially sent to the Progress Rail Plant in Muncie, Indiana before heading to Georgia, while the 2548 had been in Coalfield service on the Pocahontas Division before making its journey to the Peach State. The original cabs and electrical cabinets were replaced with a newly designed cab reminiscent of the SD70 Max that we talked about in part one of this series. An EMD SD70 ACE style wide nose, AAR style control stand, Mitsubishi Electronics, a new main alternator and additional weight was added to increase the maximum weight to 432,000 pounds when fully loaded with supplies, just like its GE competitor. The existing trucks were rebuilt with new AC traction motors installed. A new CCB2 computer controlled braking system was also installed. All units are equipped with PTC, that's positive train control systems, and are equipped for use in distributed power unit operation. Lastly, all are equipped with an automatic engine stop-start system. After rebuilding, the two returned to Muncie and emerged with new paint and were renumbered as the 1800 and the 1801. From Indiana, they were shipped to the Transportation Technology Center in Pueblo, Colorado, where they underwent additional high-speed and software testing. When the testing was completed, they went to the Juniata shops for repainting before being put into active duty service. When originally rebuilt, units were rated at a whopping 4,500 horsepower, but since then, all units have been derated to 4,300 horsepower until cooling system upgrades can be designed and installed. Like the SD70 ACU, the ACC and the C6M rebuilds are designed for heavy duty road service, but unlike the ACUs which began life as AC traction diesels, the EMD and GE hybrids can probably expect to remain on the NS roster substantially longer. But is the debate settled? Probably not. If there are any railroad workers watching, I'd like to know what you think. Do you corroborate what I said in this video, or do you dispute it? You're the real experts, and I'd like to hear what you have to say. For Trains 21, call me, AC.